Hello, friends. On this first Sunday in November, this coming Sunday, the church remembers those who have come full circle. We remember the saints, those whose lives speak God's love so clearly and so eloquently and so powerfully that the reverberations still echo around us even now. The church sets aside All Saints Day to tell their stories, to honor their memories, to hold up their examples as a roadmap for life's journey. What better place to remember the saints of God than here in this columbarium where some of Hillier's saints have been laid to rest and where many more are sure to be in the future. Now, saint means different things to different people. In the Roman Catholic Church, saints have to live a good and pious life. Uh, they also have to perform at least three confirmed miracles. Uh, you can only be canonized after death. In the Eastern Orthodox Church, uh, they believe that, that anyone who is in, has died and is in communion with God is a saint. Protestants like us tend to side with Paul and his understanding of the saints in his letters. For Paul, a saint is essentially anybody who is a part of the body of Christ. That's why in some traditions, uh, All Saints is a, a day to celebrate baptisms, a time to introduce the new saints to the old ones. Barbara Brown Taylor puts it like this, the reality is that all of us who have been baptized are already saints because all it takes to be a saint is to belong to God. It is simply a matter of joining up with the body of Christ. Once you have linked up with Christ's body, once you have been baptized in his name and share in his body and blood, you have everything you need to be a saint. You have your identity, your halo, and a choice to live as who you are or not. In baptism, God has claimed you as God's own. From God you came to God you will return. You're a saint, friends. So what are you going to do about it? This week we remember the, the saints who chose to build their house, their hope, and their lives on the rock of God's word. Those who lived faithfully and well. Those who drew strength for today from tomorrow's bright hope. Today we remember those who knew the truth. We come from God and we return to God, but the road we take matters. Their examples show us the best way home. For all the saints who from their labors rest, today we give thanks. Would you pray with me? Gracious God, for all the saints who have shown us that you are the foundation of our hope, we thank you. May we, like them, settle for nothing less. Amen. Thank you, friends. Take care. Have a fantastic week.